Okay, what I've been, uh, what I'm interested in is um, how when you introduce social functionality onto an intranet, so the kind of functionality that supports commenting and conversations, how that then uh, affects the internal communications function and how it can still be effective given the introduction of these channels, because what you're really doing is deregulating your internal information space. So it's about competition, introducing competition into the space. Um, and I think uh, it was interesting. I think people could understand and relate to some of the things that I raised, which was, uh, which was good, it's always reassuring. Um, I think the main point that I was trying to make was uh, that we need to change the way that we think. So we need to think less like journalists inside organisations and more like spokespeople inside organisations. So our, our, our currency, if you like, goes away from being a presentation to being influence. So what we, what we produce in terms of material and content is a means to an end and that end is influence. And I think that needs to uh, inform the way that we think and operate as internal communicators. I mean, one of, the, one of the issues that always comes up for all internet managers is dealing with different languages and it becomes even more acute actually when you have social channels because you want people to be able to be comfortable engaging in a language in which they can express themselves but at the same time you want the maximum number of people to be able to understand what's being said uh, and that's a very very tr tricky uh, problem to deal with so we, we say if you can do it in English, do it in English, that would be great if you can't do it in English because you don't feel comfortable or your English isn't good enough then at least um, tag the content with English words so that people will be able to search for it and put a couple of sentences explaining what the information is about, what the comment's about in English, so that I can at least understand the gist of what you're saying. And if I need to know more, I can either translate it in Google Translate or I can contact someone I know or contact the person who's published it.